Hi, welcome to Solid Edge ST 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that combustion chamber exercise in Solid Edge, even if there is no similar command to those sweep or section surfaces in Solid Edge. So I've already opened the start step file, which you can download from my graphic account. And let's start with the first simple chamber. I want to use an extrude and a ruled surface. And I need to do a fillet with variable radius and therefore I will make a sketch. So let's start with a sketch on this plane. And I want to project those elements single into my sketch. So go project to sketch. OK. Single wireframe. This one, this one, that one, this arc, that line, arc, arc, arc because I need points for my fillet with variable radius and therefore I need edges. So let's hide those important curves and make more than one ruled surface. That's all because I need those edges. Otherwise I will not get edges. So go for ruled make it tapered to plane. This will be the plane. So this will be the plane, not that one. So let's try once more. So go for that plane and not for a chain, but single. So let's turn it around and make it five degrees and maybe 25 in length. Confirm. Next one, again this plane, this arc here, confirm. Plane, line, confirm. Plane, arc, confirm, plane, arc, confirm, plane, arc, confirm, plane, arc, confirm, plane, arc, confirm. Now let's stitch those together. So go for stitched. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight surfaces. This one as well. Preview, finish, cancel this out. Now let's bring back the curves and I want to do an extrude. Extrude it with this one. Confirm, make it symmetric, make it 80, and finish. Cancel this out. Let's trim. Body, yes, I want to trim this. No, sorry, first I have to do the fillet. The edge fillet home. Round this edge here with five millimeters and okay. Preview, finish cancel this out. And now I can trim. So go for trim. Body, yes, this body. Confirm with that body here. Confirm, remove this side. Confirm. Finish. Now this body with 
that body here and remove the upper part. Confirm, finish, cancel this out. Let's hide the curves, hide the planes, stitch those surfaces together. Okay. Preview, finish, cancel this out. And now I can go for my round with variable radius. So go to home, round, go for variable radius and OK. Select the edge, confirm, and now for the points. I want this endpoint, this endpoint, and that one and this one, radius one millimeter. Now, this point here and that point and this point and this point and that point here, that one should be 10 millimeter. Preview, finish, cancel this out. And so I've got my first combustion chamber. Now let's hide this one and bring back the curves and I don't need that sketch. Now I want to go for a ruled surface with the imported curves. So go for ruled, select the planes and make them visible. This plane, go for tapered option again and the curve would be this one, so I want to go for a chain, select it, turn it around, switch side, and again, five degrees, and no, sorry, that's the other way around, like this, yeah, and confirm. Then I need an extrude with that curve and again 80 millimeters. Finish, cancel this out. Now the fillet right here, 5 millimeters, confirm, preview, finish. Now I want to project that curve onto this surface. So go for surfacing, go for project, and that would be along a vector, yes. I want to project this curve, confirm, onto that surface here, confirm, and along that direction. In that direction, finish, cancel this out. Let's trim and hide those planes. Hide the curves. Now go for a trim. I want to trim this body with that curve here. Confirm and I want to remove the outside. Confirm, finish, cancel this out. Let's hide the projection. And now I want to go for a blue surf because there is no sweep, there is a swept. And I want to do it with the blue surf. So let's go for blue surf and select the first cross section here and the second cross section up there. So somehow it went for this side. So let's go here like this. Okay. Now make it tangent continuous. 
to this surface and to the other surface tangent continuous and now I want to change the tension or magnitude by drawing here so it goes a little bit up maybe not one but one point three around that and same I could do this with that grip here as well so let's see see this controls that tension here so it might be like this maybe 1.883 doesn't really matter go for next finish cancel this out and if I hide that ruled surface and stitch those together so go for stitched okay this one and that one preview finish cancel this out and I'm done so hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.